नमस्कार खम्बागनी पीपल वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विथ आर फर्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ बायो केमिस्ट्री इन दिस वन वी आर फर्स्ट गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड द प्रेजेंस ऑफ आयन्स एंड इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ आयन्स इन आर सेल और इन आर सिस्टम सो वी जस्ट टेक इन विद अ स्मॉल शॉर्ट स्टोरी सो इफ यू जस्ट कंसिडर दिस इज आर सेल एंड वी से देर आर टू टाइप ऑफ मेनली आयन्स द मेजर वन दैट इज द सोनियम आयन विच इज प्रेजेंट outside the cell and potassium ion which is present inside the cell sodium and potassium potassium is an antagonist which is present inside and sodium is an, is a uh, present outside now very interesting topic over here is that along with the sodium we have the chlorine ions also present outside the cell the number of the concentration of sodium ion is always more than the chlorine ions one more thing the, this type of arrangement is very important for the survival of the cell like for example the nerve cell has the same type of an arrangement now over the course of time there is a movement of the ions uh, so what happens the ions move across cell membrane via process known as diffusion so this is the process through which this, these ions move now here what will happen so again this is our cell which is being over here now here the potassium ions which is here they will move outside the cell like this and the chlorine ions the sodium ions which is present outside will move inside the cell like this now after some time what happens the concentration of these are of these ions such as the potassium ions becomes higher outside the cell whereas the concentration of sodium ions becomes higher inside the cell from here after because if it is it takes place due to some of the other reason so later on what happens again they have to the ions go back to their original position now the movement of these ions cannot take place merely just like the diffusion process it requires a special system to support this movement now so for this one a specialized system called gates or channels are being utilized here transfer of two potassium ions takes place inside the cell whereas the transfer of three sodium ions takes place outside the cell and this is being termed as this system is being termed as sodium potassium pump and how does it takes place that we will discuss further now after this thing what happens due to change in the charge position as we know here two potassium ions have moved inside and three sodium ions have moved outside so there is a change in there is a loss of ions there is a loss of charge we can say charge inside the cell due to this reason the inside the cell what happens it becomes negatively charged whereas outside the cell becomes positively charged due to high concentration of the charge ions present this one this entire thing which is over here that's due to the change in charge this change in charge with respect to time okay is being termed as mandle potential this thing is being termed as mandle potential so this happens due to change in charge across Membrane. All right. So 
memory protection occurs due to the change in charge across the membrane. Other than these, there are two other more type of membranes which are over here. Let's just discuss these membrane potentials, two other type of membrane potentials which are present. Membrane potential. This happens due to change in charge or you can say more appropriately due to difference difference in charge across membrane okay next next type is of resting potential so when we talk about resting potential here the resting potential is basically that potential where the membrane potential remains constant so if we just address this in a simple terms constant membrane potential with respect to time this is the resting potential another type of potential that comes across is action membrane or action potential you can say this happens when there is a variable membrane potential so variable membrane potential variable membrane potential with respect to time so so far we have learned three type of membrane potential first is membrane potential this occurs due to the difference in the charge across the membrane second one is resting potential this occurs when there is a constant membrane potential taking place action potential tell the myth when there is a variable membrane potential with respect to time it is the action membrane now we have why movement of sodium and potassium across the membrane in the first case it took place via diffusion but in the second case when the sodium and potassium has to go back to their original respective places they require an extra pump which was being termed as sodium potassium pump now as i said this potassium pump or this type of pumps or gates cannot work by their own they require certain type of energies so here we need to see that the sodium potassium pumps this pump requires energy to energy to transport ions and this energy is basically been com comes from uh, it uses atp for it uses it uses atp for transport of ions inside as well as outside the cell this is being termed as and it is known as it is known as active transport so in the first case the transport took place with the help of diffusion simple diffusion 
second case when they have to go back to respective places again they require the energy this energy is provided by the atp for the transport of sodium and potassium ions inside and outside the cell and such type of transport where the atp or the energy is being required is being termed as active transportive transport all right uh, thank you that's all for today and i hope you have liked this lecture please do revise and i'll meet you in the next lecture thank you bye bye